This is a very simple clay water pitcher. Ancient people used it to cool water, beer and other drinks as well as to carry these liquids. But how can a simple clay jug cool the liquid inside it? It's all about the process of evaporation. In order to evaporate water, heat has to be supplied. If a surface is hot and some water is poured on the surface, the water molecules get warmer. In other words, their kinetic energy increases since heat is a form of energy. Because of this, the molecules move faster. If enough heat is supplied, the faster moving molecules can escape the attraction of the other water molecules and leave the surface of the liquid. We simply say they evaporate. Because the escaped water molecules have carried heat energy away, the surface becomes cooler. A similar situation is when a piece of heated iron is plunged into a bucket of water. The water is heated and some of it evaporates, while the iron becomes cooler. If we look closely at the surface of a clay water pitcher, we see that it has pores. Water in the pitcher can move to the outside through these pores. Water that moves to the surface begins to evaporate and cools the surface. The pitcher becomes cooler and so the water inside it also becomes cooler. Let's test this. We have a clay water pitcher and a regular water jug. They were both filled at the same time about 24 hours ago. If we check the water pitcher's surface, we notice that its colour has changed after filling it with water. This shows that water has come to the outside surface through the pores. It doesn't feel wet though because the water flow is so slow. Just a tiny layer of water builds up on the surface, so there isn't a significant loss of water. Let's first measure the temperature of the environment. It's summer and the temperature is about 27 Celsius or 80 Fahrenheit. Now we'll measure the temperature of water in the water jug. And we see that it's 22 Celsius or 72 Fahrenheit. Finally, we'll measure the temperature of water in the clay pitcher. and we see that it's 17 Celsius or about 63 Fahrenheit. That's a difference in temperature between the water in the jug and in the pitcher of five degrees Celsius or nine degrees Fahrenheit. It's a very effective way to cool water by using water. So let's thank our ancestors for always trying something new and never giving up.